Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bullock, and this is going to be a quick video for our Flyers fandom and even potentially Royals fans, but it'll probably end up starting with the Phantoms with how much he's kicking his the behind of everybody overseas, I should say, in Elliot Desnoyers, um, making Team Canada. Even if he is a reserve, it is a very, very, very impressive thing to see a fifth round pick um, from the 2020 draft make it on to Team Canada's <clears throat> well, junior roster. And that is absolutely loaded. And with how loaded Team USA is, if you look at the preliminary roster, Canada announced their final roster. That's Steel and I talked about in this edition of the JB and Steel Show coming out today on Steel Flyers account and on mine later this evening, the Royal Skype video. Please check that out as well. But Elliot Dainrieres, um is a great smooth skating player, great offensive instinct, but also one of those guys that reminds you, for those people that keep preaching we need to get some of those guys that remind you of the Flyers' old identity, well, he does, because he's <clears throat> his scouting point is he's so much better off the puck than he is on it. If you want a player who will selflessly run head first through a brick roll, if that's what's necessary for his team to succeed, then look no further than him. Uh, he plays an honest brand of hockey in the defensive zone and never flees a moment sooner than his team has secured the puck. So he's a guy that's great on both ends, a very efficient skater, a guy that moves efficiently but also anticipates the play efficiently while going up the ice so he makes the right decision of whether he should be the guy that um, expedites the play through the neutral zone into the attacking uh, offensive zone or if he should pass it to somebody else. So he's a guy that's also, <clears throat> when I've seen a uh, scouting tape, of him, plus a couple highlights, because obviously with Halifax, there's a lot of stuff over online. Um, very popular team up in the queue. He's also one of the leaders of the team, um, where according to Steele, he is the captain this year. He was the A last year. I wasn't aware that he was the captain, but he makes Team Canada because he's absolutely kicking butt well above a points per game this year, 36 points in 21-22 in 23 games. Uh, he had 49 points in 37, and then in his first season, he had a solid first season um, with, um, oh no, no, it was the second season, he had 35 points, he had a solid first season, though, 31-61, and 61 with the Moncton Wildcats as well, and then he went to the great team in the queue, the, um, Halifax Moosehead, and is having back-to-back -back killer seasons, really turning into a steal of a deal with a pick there by the Philadelphia Flyers, who definitely, if he keeps this up, will be up probably by the age of 21 at this rate if he keeps kicking his behind or kicking everyone's behind like he's doing right now. And obviously, if he gets a chance, it looks like he's going to be as the projected lineups. Obviously, team kind of hasn't said anything about their lineups yet. It's still a little bit early out. The thing doesn't start until 20, the 26th of the month. But <clears throat> Elliot Daniels now is on Team Canada. If he gets a chance, you never know what's going to happen injuries-wise or if he gets a chance to play, if he very much impresses so if he gets a chance to play, that's even better. But if not, it's still just a great honor because it just recognizes how impressive he's been. And he's only been this impressive this early on in his career after being drafted 2020 round five. Imagine what can happen if you just give him even more time to develop. And it's not like he's one of those guys you have to wait overly long for because you have to wait for his skating like Lawden or somebody like that, he already has the great efficient skating from each zone to the other zone. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick video on Elliot Day Norrieres making Team Canada, who, like that scouting report said, though, as a conclusion, he is great on the puck. He's getting much better on the puck as well. So having had this that good off the puck combined with how good he's getting on the puck now, when he's able to just shoot the puck efficiently and pass efficiently, that can be mighty dangerous and a great steal of a fifth round pick, just like Troy Terry is a great steal of a fifth round pick for the Anaheim Ducks. Plus, guess he was the fourth round pick in that trade. Um, Zade Wisdom, who killed it in the AHL last year and now is back in the juniors playing, played one game this far. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below to help us reach our Christmas goal of 180. Peace out, everybody.